G'day, Ben here. In our previous video, 5 Minutes to Groove, we set up the groove box, built a simple operator interface and used it to turn the lights on and off here in the studio. One of the cool things we didn't show you in that video is that while we were building our operator interface screens for the PC, we were also building the operator screens for the mobile views. And we didn't show you how Groove will automatically scale those pages to fit any device screen size. Just check this out. No matter what device I pick up and use, my Groove screens all scale gracefully to fit perfectly. iPhones, iPads, any of the hundreds of Android screen sizes. And what screen sizes are being invented now that we won't see until sometime next year, it doesn't matter. Groove will still scale to fit. So let's take a look at how we can quickly and easily build these mobile ready screens. Right now we're here in Groove View. So let's switch to Groove Build by clicking on the little gear icon and selecting Switch to Groove Build. Notice the two tabs here. Right now we're in Desktop and Tablet View. If we click the Handheld tab, the same interface is here but it's formatted for a smartphone or a smaller mobile device. I'm going to add one more gadget. I'm going to add a button to turn the lights on and off again. So you can build in either tab and it automatically gets added to the other view. Now the cool thing is, is that you can move them around and it doesn't move in the other view. So this means that you can lay out both views exactly the way that you want. I'll just save this now and let's load it up on my mobile phone and see how it works. Yep, that works just fine. So right now I'm viewing the interface using the built-in mobile web browser. And that's great because I can view it from any mobile device anywhere I have Wi-Fi or cellular connection. But sometimes you may not want the operator to use a web browser with the browser forward and back buttons and the URL bar visible. That could possibly lead to being distracted with, say, cat videos or surfing the web. And sometimes you might even want the tablet or the phone locked down so that the Groove interface is the only app that you can use. That's why we've made two free mobile apps, GrooveView for Android and GrooveView for iOS. You can quickly download them and install them by searching for Groove on the Google Play or the iTunes Store. Let's open the app now and enter the Groove's host name and put in your username and password and boom, there's my Groove project looking just like a native app. Now you can see the difference here. In the app you get more screen real estate. All the browser buttons are gone so there are fewer distractions. Now on the Android you can still press home and get to the, everything else on your tablet or phone. But what if you want to lock down a mobile device so the only thing you can use is your Groove app? Imagine what you could do with that. Say, for example, you could use an iPod Touch as the lights and temperature control in a conference room. Or if you're an OEM or machine builder, you could use an iPad in an industrial enclosure as your operator interface for your equipment. Well, you can do this with any Apple mobile device using GrooveView for iOS. Here's my Groove app on iOS and everything is working great here. I've already configured my iOS device for guided access mode or what we call kiosk mode. To enter this mode now, triple click the home button. And there I've got the option now to start guided access mode. Boom, there we go. Check this out. The device is now locked down. When the operator presses the home button or the power button, nothing happens. GrooveView for iOS is the only app that you can access. So there you go. You've seen how Groove scales to any screen size. How Groove automatically builds the mobile screens while we're building our PC and tablet screens. And we've shown you two free apps to help get the most from your mobile devices. To find out more about these features and all things Groove, check out Groove.com. Thanks for watching. Till next time, cheers, mate. <laughs> I love this stuff.